You know what else I learned yesterday? And I might be behind on this one. What? Baseball cards. I I, I uh, collected them growing up. Jimmy, Me too, did. Gregory. You did, right? Got I him, loved got them. Him, need them, got them, need them. Well, my favorite player of all time was here yesterday. I was did, fucking very upset. Did you hear what Reggie, yeah. Major League Baseball did to the baseball companies? Uh, baseball card companies? These, what? These, like these, tops? Like this, 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 this company needs more money. You know, they only licensed <laughs> one company to make uh, Major League Baseball cards. Clear? Well, I don't know which company, to be honest. Tops with, uh, or Don Russ or? or Upper Deck. I'm not sure which one got the... Upper Decker. <laughs> I'm not sure which one got the, the contract. Here is the weird thing. The rest of the companies still made baseball cards, but Major League Baseball made them blur out the logos on every fucking card. No Remember way. Remember when we were growing up, you could wow. buy different yeah. different companies, and it was, you know... It was only Tops. Huh? When I was growing up... If you didn't have top baseball cards, they, they went from like they cards. went from tops, and then it just got out of control. And then, then it got out of hand. Then there were like always five, tops. six companies at least. Well, now there's only one company officially allowed to make the baseball cards using the Major League Baseball logos. Tops. I did not know that. Wow, that is something. Do we have a picture of a baseball card where they have to blur out everything? I mean, they have to blur out all the logos. The logos on the baseball player, the logos in the stadium, everything. <laughs> it's almost a waste of time. So these these companies are basically going bankrupt because they, you know, who wants to buy who wants to buy baseball cards that don't have the logo of the I, baseball player? I wonder if they did that because baseball cards became such an immediate big business like they would have the special series, and every year they would sell, yeah. like, $50 base. It became like this fucking, they were just gutting people for money. Wow. Yeah. Is that Damn. unbelievable? I didn't know that. I, I, I read that over the weekend. It's like, you got to be kidding me. I, mean, I haven't bought baseball cards, Get obviously. your Mark McGuire while, rookie but... card when he played <laughs> <Yeah>. with the... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what teams they're on. Don't know what teams are on. Here's the upper decker, Derek Jeter with the Newton <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Because if you say the team, you're going to get, you're you're gonna gonna get, get in trouble. Gonna get I'm going to get sued and screwed here, people. Sued and screwed. Sued and screwed. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, the deal hasn't started yet. It starts next year. So next year, next year. Get them while you can, people. Get them while you can. Next year, there'll, there'll be one company making baseball cards. Upper Deck says they're still going to make cards, even though they can't use the team names because they yeah. still have the. Wait, they can't use the team names or logos. No, they, they can't, can't use the team names or logos. They can use since since there's a players union, they have a deal with the players union. They can't use the fucking name no, of the team. No, that's what I'm getting at. This is what I read over the weekend. I, I thought it started already, but it starts next year. Can you imagine? Wow. Some weird shit is going on in America where God. it's so supposedly a free Damn. Uh, a free market society. Wow. Boy, that's something. They must have paid a hefty licensing fee. So then. how are they going to make the baseball cards? Because I bet you Major League Baseball will get to the point where they go, look, that looks like a Yankee uniform, so we don't even want that on your baseball card. You know? I like that in the uh, commercials when they're doing a commercial that didn't want to pay the rights, so it's just like... <laughs> a Yankee in some pinstripes, and there's no logo or anything. Right. Just has like just a blue hat. Says baseball on it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it team. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> it's like in the old days when they wouldn't use real sports names, like the North Dallas Forty, when they wouldn't use Dallas Cowboys or the yeah, Dallas yeah. Stars, whoever they called them. The, you know, the <laughs> Dallas <laughs> Cornhurners. What? <laughs> so if they can't use the team names, how are they going to get baseball cards done? Uh, by blurring it out, I guess. What the? Oh, Sam's got us a oh, got a picture of just a guy out of his uniform. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna collect Bad baseball players out of like their a, uniforms? Exactly. Fucking just photos of people. Yeah. Now you're buying photos of people. <laughs> That's it. How much money does a company need? After a while, it gets. Uh, you gotta go re relax. Yeah. Oh, after a while, you really just gotta say relax. They do the profile, so you can't see the logo on the head. Yeah, but I'm telling you, Major League Baseball will see this and go, nope, yeah, that looks like a Major League Baseball oh, they're uniform. Gonna take, they're going to take shots of them that are, are that completely obscure the their logos logo. and stuff. That's great. How yeah, do you do them by team? If you can't do them by team. It's unbelievable. What the fuck? That, that shit just drives what me What about nuts. the stats on the back? Can you put, like, he's with the Yankees or with the fucking well, Red Sox or something? You, you probably, can probably do that. You probably do it like this, New York, Minnesota. You probably oh, do American League, New York. Won't. As a yeah. consumer, you should have some good choices. And if you want baseball cards, you should be able to choose from some solid, you know, companies that are making the cards. Well, the same thing goes for video games, that baseball and football have exclusive deals with video game companies. So oh, the yeah, only yeah. The only NFL-licensed <clears throat> video game Madden. is Madden. Right. So all the other video game companies... 
can't put out an NFL licensed game. <laughs> yeah, but they could put them out, well, but they would put them out with teams. Well, yeah, that they'll no put out like Blitz, and, you know, with like you know just these random players. Uh, that yes, don't mean anything. Stupid names and <laughs> you know I, teams. I'm obsessed with Tiger Woods, you know, ten, and uh, they have a lot of the golf courses in. Yeah, that the you know the players actually play on, but they don't have Augusta, where they, Augusta. Play, where they play the Masters every yeah. year. Because they couldn't get, I guess, get the I guess Augusta didn't sign off on it, and they, and supposedly they'll never sign off on it, so you'll never see Augusta in a uh, in a Tiger Woods game. So bizarre. How, how do you how how do you control that? Oh my goodness gracious! Right. <laughs> do you know I've only one. only once in my life did I collect the whole series of baseball cards. Oh, like I bought a couple yeah. of years after, but I never I went through it when 1979 tops. It's actually worth a few hundred bucks. But there was, was one card I couldn't get, Alan Bannister from the White Sox, and I finally traded my friend Neil oh. Grant. <laughs> Neil my Grant friend, had it? My friend Neil Grant had it. He brought it in in tinfoil. I could not get fucking Alan Bannister. I bought hundreds of packs. That was fun when you were a kid. I used- Roger Clemens is in front of the pass. <laughs> <laughs> and now Roger Clemens is officially a... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, used to, I used to cry to my mommy because I would lose all my cards uh, flipping them. Yeah, Sweetie. flip them. You ever flip? How oh. would you flip? Would you flip... For colors. Uh, colors? Yeah. The flipping for teams was really fucked up because the stack got huge. You flip for colors, well, I maybe think... five, eight cards would go by, and then the guy would top you with the color, well, and, and then he'd take the cards. Flip for teams? Now you're talking. Well, this is this is going back about ten years now, so my memory's a little uh, fuzzy. Oh, ten years, yeah. huh? Yeah, Whoa, a little oh, fuzzy. Wow. <laughs> and then there no, was... I think we did teams. I think we did colors. Just to make it interesting, we came up with all sorts of ways to flip. And I remember... The pile, like you just said, got ridiculous, and I lost like shaking. everything. We just shake. It was like gambling as a kid. Yeah, because you'd be shaking, putting that next card out, going. Oh, because oh, we uh. also, because some some of the the kids would bring their shitty cards, so you would look at their cards to make sure they had you know some solid good yeah. solid cards in there, or you wouldn't flip with the person. Yeah, it's like let me see what you got. So and you the had, guy would get a reputation for flipping with shit. Right. So, Remember that? Yeah, but we it was like real life gambling, man. You yeah. got a Willie Mays card somewhere in there. And you're like, fuck, I might lose my fucking Willie Mays card Dude, today. Flip flipping for colors was like. You know, the $5 table. Right. Playing at the $5 yeah, because, all right, table. There's three, four cards. Yeah. You, all right, I scooped Flip that it up. Flipping for teams, though, was, was like you're in the high stakes fucking thing. And and, and the it would Jesus. stack up. Yeah. Stack up, and you'd be like, okay, I got all my fucking cards. Well, how do you flip for teams? I'm 12 years old, panicking. You'd have to match the team. Like, you you know, you're going bump, bump, one, yeah, two, one three, one after another, and then the other. a twin and card then, comes up, and all of a sudden you flip yours, and it's a twin card, and you get, yeah, a, you get the stack. You get the stack that has built up. But, wait, but how for do you colors, look? it was just like red, green, blue, oh. green, green. Oh, now you take. Oh, whoever throws a color down, the next guy get. I see. Okay. Whoever tops whatever the last guy just put down. It was... Uh, it is was it? unbelievable. My Alan Bannister card today is worth twenty five. How much is the nineteen seventy nine? To- I don't have it mint, but how much is it worth in mint? The nineteen seventy nine tops collection. Jim mint tin condition. He played with the white. <laughs> with the- <laughs> I'm gonna guess five fifty or six hundred. I-, I don't like greed, man. It gets ridiculous after Greed is good. <laughs> yeah. Greed is good. I understand a company has to make money, but then it gets to a point where it's all just greed. Well, for all these years, they've nuts. allowed it with the other companies. I wonder if they were just like, it, these guys are not. My, my argument to that whole thing, Jimmy, is that it's marketing the sport itself. Like when we, every year when the Super Bowl comes around and they in, they insist that radio shows and, and TV shows, no one's allowed to say Super Bowl. Yeah. That drives me. That drives me nuts because the big game is fun to say. But you're promoting. <laughs> <laughs> you're promoting the game, the game and, and a lot of people would say, "Well, it doesn't need promotion." But guess what? All the years where radio and TV and and whatnot was was saying Super Bowl was promoting this thing to yeah. to what it has become today. Yep. And to to make everyone say the big game instead of su- the Super it's Bowl ridiculous. drives me nuts. Well, I'll tell you why it does help to promote it because it gets like a, a fever pitch built around it. Because if no radio shows and no one's talking about the Super Bowl, <laughs> who gives a fuck? You're not even thinking about it. But yeah. if everyone's leading up to it, they should be able to say Super Bowl. And 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 uh, uh, whoever he is says it's being sold for two hundred and thirty five dollars. Is that in mint condition? The Alan Bannister Jim card. Mint ten condition. It was more oh, than that. Of what? who? Of who? The whole 1979 no, tops. No, I was working off Anthony's fucking voice right there. Oh, we didn't. Jim Minton for the entire set. Look, I'm going to open it up. It's amazing who we got in here. What do we it's got? It's blah, blah, blah from the blue. <laughs> My God, look, I see Joe Young Joe Tory wearing a cap. 
And by the way, how many people have an attic full of worthless beanie babies? <laughs> I'm responsible for that one. Beanie babies, these are going to be valuable. Did you how ever, many people went into that? Did you ever play Darky? What? <laughs> when we oh, used no. to flip cars, we would play Darky. You would, yeah? Yeah. You flip like that? Yeah. Well, you would just use your 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 uh, your black baseball players. Jesus, <laughs> oh the piles wouldn't pile up because out of your mind, it, it was one on one always. So it was called darky, and, and what you mixed up your racist school. Were you going <laughs> and then, to? And then you flip, and then you decide which which card had the darker player. Oh no. <laughs> I've n only fucking Harbor Fields. Look, it was you stuck up white trash. Look, you were like me. You, you you go play cards with your friends, right? And after a while, just playing the basic games were boring. So you came up with all these crazy fucking new ba uh, no, uh, card I just, games. I just flipped. We did the, the same thing with flipping cards. Flipping color, flipping teams, and then flipping players was also pretty difficult. What's flipping players? I uh, you had to one. match the player. What? I don't remember. The, the that odds one. of that happening were astronomical. I don't you'd go that. through hundreds of cards. No, that's just ridiculous. And then it was like, if, if nothing happened, you'd have to split them back up again. Mm -hmm. Like, because I, I remember this flip, flip for five, and then you'd start with five cards, and you'd just flip for five. And if no one won, you'd split them up, and then flip again. Mm -hmm. Flip for five until somebody won. Or flip for 10, I'll flip you for 10, and then you take 10 cards, same thing. Right. And oh yeah, I, we, I always walked away with no cards. I lost dude, flipping I know, constantly. Well, honey, I, I stunk. I've known you for a long time. I didn't know you collected baseball cards. Oh, uh, I didn't collect them. I lost them to fucking we to, bullies. We used to steal them from the stationery. We did everything we could to get our cards. And they had a stack of like last year's cards, and you'd chuck them up. I'm gonna chuck up the cards, and people would freak out because they'd think you're throwing. I don't know why, because every year it was the same thing. Mm -hmm. You throw up your last year's cards because once once the new year came out, didn't matter. Last year's cards were worthless. <laughs> yeah, it was worthless. That's why they're worth so much money today. My, yes. As Jim states the obvious. Well, brother, I would cry then sometimes, just Mike. I would cry because I lost my baseball cards, and I come home like. <laughs> brother Elmo has uh, entire years in in uh, mint condition. Really? Still in the box. That whole thing. Yeah. It's still wrapped with the gum. The, <clears throat> yeah. You know, He's a collector. Good gum. Yeah, he collected for a long, long time. Tell him to give I don't know what's me. going on with uh, the cards these days. It'll but be worth nothing, I bet. Dude, they would send out cards in the same year. Like, I, I think Upper Deck was doing this, and uh, Don Ross, like, $40, like, shiny cards. In, the, like, the 80s, I think they were doing that in the 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I had sold all my, a lot of my baseball cards to get to drink. To and my drink? drink stuff, yeah. <laughs> I sold a lot of my collectibles to drink. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, especially like sad. Just Let's wow. say hi to this guy. Knows more on the blacked out baseball cards. Moron. Jason in Ohio. Jason, pleasure for me to be on today. Hey, thank you, hey. sir. Hello. Yeah, yes, let's go. Hi, you're on the air. Hey, hey guys. Uh, yeah. Um, what happened was Pops brokered this deal because uh, you guys collect. We're about the same age. Collecting was just growing up. It was just Tops, and then it became Fleer, and then Don Ross. And then what happened was they overproduced the shit out of cards, and it pushed a lot of people away. Yep. And Top, Tops was trying to do this deal to get people back into collecting, and basically, you know, so they did this in the 50s with their competition, too. And then uh, what the, the cards are going to look like from upper deck, they haven't said that what they were, but when this happened before with hockey, when they had the, the lockout in the 90s, they... Uh, it basically, it's going to be the player's name, and he'll say, like, if it's a Yankee, he'll just say New York right fielder. And... Uh, Happened with Barry Bonds with like fantasy sports, where it would say San Francisco right fielder because he wouldn't release his rights to his name to Major League Baseball. He had a separate deal. I hate baseball <laughs> players. Hysterical. They're fucking more and more cons. every fucking day. Dude, I, mean, I, such I fucking hate them. <laughs> so now so, individually they have to sign off on their rights. Well, that's what basically uh, Tops, did, yeah, Tops did is say we're gonna we're we're the premier company you know forever. And we want we want the chance to you know bring the hobby back, and they're trying to get people connected back to the sport through the memorabilia business again. Sure, I, I get mad because I know it it helps the uh, the company. Let's just call it the company because it happens in all walks of life. <clears throat> wow, that's not Barry Bonds. <laughs> Anthony look like Barry Bonds. <laughs> that guy's too bulky from when Barry was younger. <laughs> well, and the other thing that they'll probably look like if when they had the lockout with hockey in nine, and it was a ninety three or ninety four. They weren't making team or actual cards. They had the players in the NHLPA jerseys. Right. So it, it could be like that. Well, the, you know, the upper deck will have MLBPA players' uniforms on. Unbelievable. 
Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You're Jason. welcome, guys. Take care. All right. Scandal in the baseball card. Uh, Anthony, business. people confuse. They think my, uh, somebody fucked up my Willie Mays card. The really? famous story, because I cried a lot uh, over my Funny. baseball cards growing up, and I brought yeah. a, because the, the person is confused, I brought a Don Larson, look this one up, Sam, Oh, the year after he pitched the perfect game, I brought that baseball card into show and tell. Oh, I remember this, and this oh no, tragic. And, and this angry kid, I couldn't have been more than, I had to be in grammar school, man, I think I was 10 or 11, and the kid, I was all proud because I had one of the coolest things at that show and tell that day. And this kid, he already had long hair, and he was miserable at 10. Had a beard. <laughs> yeah, he, he's 10 or 11, and he's already miserable. I'm like, how are you miserable at 11? And he, he reaches over, grabs my card, and, and not in pencil, takes a pen and just <laughs> across my whole Don Larson's card wow. in front of everybody. And, man, did I cry like a little fucking bitch. Did, was everyone laughing at you? They were they all laugh at you. I think they were sad for me because I didn't know how much. Sad. Huh? What a he, dick. He, he was just a fucking one angry of those little fuck. dickheads. I would love to know what happened to this kid. I guarantee oh, he's, probably he's in, prison. in prison. He killed Don Larson. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don Larson was fingering his hand. He couldn't take it anymore. Every time he saw Don Larson, he went he bad shit. He lost his mind. Yeah, that guy. His dad wrote a pen like fucking Pesci. <laughs> uh, he pitched a perfect game. You think I... I ran out of steam. <laughs> Is that the one? Yeah, it's a year after. Wow, you had that card and he Wait. fucking drew on it? Wait, it might be the one. What a uh -oh. cock. I always thought I it was the year after. <laughs> Wait, do the other card. Go back into the image section. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think it might be the other one that you, you showed. Do you have a lame fucking Don Larson card? I guarantee it's worth less than uh, fucking 100 bucks. I think it might bucks. be that one. It's gotta be. It's probably some like player that sounded like him. It's Sonny Larson, <laughs> some other player. <laughs> <laughs> There's Don Larson, all right. Don Larson, yeah, so it's like 40, 50 bucks. That's 50 it. 50 bucks. You know what? Worthless Righteous. Card. But you know what? It, yeah. A fine listener felt sorry for me, and I don't even know his name. It just showed up <laughs> one day in the mail. Yeah. A brand new fucking Don Larson card. Maybe it was the, the guy. Can you imagine if it was the guy? Right. He <laughs> felt so guilty all these years. Finally went to a 12-step program. <laughs> Figured out it was you on right. the radio and was like, that's the guy, the Don Larson card guy. I, I cried like a mother fucking bitch that uh, day. It was bad. I couldn't even, I couldn't even get through... Uh, the school day. Not the I, worst. I had to go home. I think my mommy had to pick me oh, up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not the worst than with, crying at school. With my card all just ruined by this Look asshole. What he did. <laughs> right. Mommy, what he did. Look. It's okay. We'll get another. No, it's impossible to get another. Look, it's funny oh. now, but when you're 11 or 12, that was my whole world, was that dumb card. What else did I have? Yeah, it's all, it was like currency. Right. Baseball cards were your currency in school. We all had shit we bragged about. That was my thing. Yeah. Wait, it was for show and tell. Yeah, I brought it for show and tell. <laughs> so you brought it. What did you carry it into school in? I don't remember anymore, Jimmy. Probably, probably tin foil or something. I probably a plastic bag. Probably a plastic bag. Zip block. Yeah, so I mean, what, I didn't like go crazy like trying to protect these cards, but I, I, yeah. I, I carefully, you know, had them. Uh, <laughs> Did you in a way explain the pen marks when you showed it? <laughs> and these were just added by the gentleman here with no. the molesting parents. <laughs> he did it after I showed the card, and then now we're eating fucking milk, milk and cookies or something. Why did you have the card put away by that point? Because people wanted to check it out. They, they thought it was fucking cool. I would have told them to leave their filthy hands off it. What did the teacher do? <laughs> I don't remember, Andy. Probably Laughed. nothing, My right? memory sucks because I was right, mentally right, abused by my it. mom for many decades, so I, I tend to forget a lot of stuff. Did you block things out? Oh, yeah. Do you think so? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Really so, creepy stuff? Nah, not really. Just, just a, lot of, a lot of yelling. Where do you think I get my yelling Any from? Any hitting? Nah, not really. Not, nah. Wooden spoon every once in a while, you know. Oh, God. I was, I was just weeping in school. You were a weeper, too. Weeping. Just crying all the time. What a cry baby. Yeah. Baby. Baby. Stick my head in gravy. <laughs> Yuck. I Wait. just was. God, what was wrong with me? You're sensitive. I thought, like, no, you know what it was? I thought I would get, like, sympathy. It was, <laughs> it was a crying little student that stands his foot up. <laughs> I thought I would get sympathy if, like, I cried in school. Yeah. It was more like, like, obviously, it was, I wasn't always that upset. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is now just putting crying children <laughs> up on the screen. Go to www. Uh, uh, yeah, so I thought like if I was crying, I'd get like more attention, and well, you're right. People would feel sorry for me, like the teacher what and a fag and girls. 
That wasn't a way to get girls, by the way. It's crying. No. <laughs> no. It's the way to not get them. The tough guys always got them. Of course. The guys yeah. that made me cry were the ones. You had your fucking Kleenex rolled up in your sleeve like a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Just weeping. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> crying over the dumbest shit. The time I brought in those stupid fucking cookies. <laughs> for for ethnic food day, <laughs> and what they call them? Uh, l- l- balls of shit. <laughs> <laughs> they were like these little <laughs> chocolate balls, <laughs> chocolate salty balls. And and my mother bought them because it was like you had to bring in from your background uh, a type of food. So I brought those in, and no one ate them because they said they looked like shit balls. And uh, I just you started crying because I felt all, yeah, I felt embarrassed. And then I felt bad from the, from my mother because she bought them, thinking it was a good thing and, and everything. And then I had to go home and tell her that she bought shit balls. <laughs> Do they all laugh at you? Yeah. Your little shit ball cookies? They, they laugh and, and we're pointing at it and goes, it looks like duty. Uh-huh. <laughs> no one ate my shit balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I cried. <laughs> what an why, asshole! Why were we all emotional wrecks at uh, eleven, totally. twelve? Just a disaster. But I don't, I don't think we're. <laughs> I think most people listening to us were emotional wrecks at ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. It what was. the fuck was wrong with us? Because all those hormones were trying to figure out what the fuck. Crying, just, just raging in your body. You ever cry in school, Jimmy? I'm sure I did. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure yeah. I did. From I rejection? A, yeah. Some type of rejection. I was a very emotional boy. Mm. Let me I had say, many emotions. When I broke my arm, uh, I got so much attention from having a cast on. I can't even look at you when you tell this one. It was great, yeah. So when the cast came off, I tried to break my arm again on the water fountain. I just, like, hit my arm on the water fountain trying to break so I would get another cast and people would, you know, pay attention to me because I had a cast on. <laughs> Was it a sincere, like, really hard bashing or no? I was it a very I lame? I couldn't commit. I couldn't, of course you could. I couldn't it's, commit to the break. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's like, hard because uh, uh, you want to commit, but at the last second, your body yeah. kind of says no. I couldn't do it. It slows down the, the impact. Jerk. And, I, and then it hurt, so I started crying. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. I love it. I bet you weren't kidnapped by some molester in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'd have dumped me off. Sure he would Shut up, kid. I had my throat slit before I was sexually assaulted <laughs> just to shut me the fuck up. God, and you just brought up a memory that I forgot oh. about. I punched a brick wall because uh, my, my hand was healing, and I was getting so much attention, too. And so my hand was healing, and I wasn't ready to get, let go of the attention. Okay. So I, I started punching the wall with my hand that was like 75% healed because I wanted to What's continue this? being in the cast. This <laughs> craving attention bullshit. That's why we ended up I here, totally, Dude, I totally forgot about that until you just said it. I did the exact yeah, same, same thing. thing. That's why I had, we're fucking I was, here in front of microphones uh, at this. It's, it's, it's not coincidental. That uh, we're we're doing this and we we're all <laughs> fucked up as kids trying was, to get attention. It makes perfect sense now. I was down to an ace bandage, and I had uh, a couple more doctor visits left. Yeah. So I started punching a brick wall. I t- I like Jimmy said. Yeah, this is something I blocked out until you just mentioned that story. Yep. And then I started punching the brick wall, but like at the last second, you can't commit. You just can't commit. So you're hitting, but not as hard. At, like no, you, that's that that's, you need to. That's a little bit of sanity showing its way through. <laughs> that you just at the last minute, your survival instinct was, kicks in and says, "You can't do that." I was getting attention from girls. They they were yeah. paying attention to me a little more. Girls were like they, they asked a lot of questions, cast. right? All that they'd shit. Sign the cast. Oh, get better. And I'd be like, look at their names and go, oh look. And then they cut the cast off, and I'm like, now I'm just a kid with one atrophied hairy arm. Would you come on their names? Uh, no, this was before Cumsies. Yeah, I didn't either. This is like when I was, I guess I was, uh, uh, <laughs> nine or ten, something like that. Yeah, you tried Maybe, to break your yeah, arm like again? Nine. Yeah, I tried to break it. <laughs> they took the cast off, and for like one day, it was kind of like, oh, you got your cast off. And I was like, yeah, yeah, oh, look at my arm. It looks all funny and everything like that. Then nobody and nobody cared? And then no one gave a shit, so I'm like, <laughs> I went up to the water fountain, and I hit it, and it hurt. So I thought maybe it was broken. Funny. So I had to go home then and tell my mommy. I went, 
I, I ran around the corner in school and I hit my arm on the water fountain and I think I broke it again. And she's like, no, you didn't break you it. Tell you tell you hit it on the whites only sign? <laughs> 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 fucking creep. <laughs> so you, the thing is, I kept nagging her about this fucking broken arm thing. Ew, you kept pushing it? I kept pushing like, I think I broke it. Can you take me to the doctor? What a dick. So she actually went, all right, she took me to the doctor and the, they went to take x-rays and I'm like, Hmm. There's no going to be no break here. So I actually <laughs> on the bottom of my arm, I drew in pen two lines, hoping that when it was on the X-ray machine, it would show up as like through the X-ray as breaks in the two bones, <laughs> the ulna and the radius. You tried drawing breaks on the outside. You tried fooling the medical community <laughs> yeah, with I tried a pen. The doctor with a pen mark on my uh, bottom of my arm as I placed it on the fucking X-ray machine. You're psychotic. Just so they might see it and go, "Wow, yeah, look at that. It's broken." She should have taken it to the gyno. <laughs> <laughs> fucking creep. Check out my vag. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Your son's arm is fine. His pussy's got a problem. <laughs> That's great. Creep. Watch your arms, stupid. Yeah, exactly. You got pen marks exactly. on Exactly. <laughs> you should have his fucking tear ducts sewn up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously overused. <laughs> fucking A, I love that story. Oh, it was Hold terrible. On. Let me go to the phone. I don't want to lose Chris in Jersey. Chris, how are you, buddy? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Uh, I just want to tell you that um, uh, when I was a little kid in elementary school, we had something called International Day, and we had to uh, come in and represent our culture, our heritage, and... So I'm partly German, so I have to, my mom made me dress up uh, in lederhosen. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, food from like Germany and stuff like that. It was really embarrassing. Yeah, you can't make your kid dress up. Oh, no. No. Like that. Oh, I know. I know. Anthony's got a vagina. I know. I know. I know. Seems like he break his hymen on the water fountain. I know. I know. Came around the corner. Broke his arm. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> what an Oof. asshole I was. That pen thing, I never heard that before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I drew, I drew the cracks in my arm. Yeah. That's terrific. I think I actually drew them a little crackly, too. Like, she did. like a cartoon. <laughs> like, like an arm would never break. And so what they would do is they would take it off. And then they would just put a cast on without any further inspection. Yes, exactly. And not look at the bottom. And I'd be all happy that I'd go back to school the next day with a cast on and go, what happened, Anthony? Why do you have another cast? Uh, well, I hit it on the water fountain. Please give me attention. I would hope that somebody would go, I saw you swinging it at the water fountain and take your pen out. Yeah, well, I was angry. That is... That's, yeah, I'll, mm. that's too good, man. Yeah, it was really uh, bad. Everybody liked the way I... Uh, I uh, they all commented on the way I swam with a cast because I was able to swim with the one arm up, and it looked like a periscope. And they were like, oh, look, Anthony's swimming with the cast on. I'm like, yes, look at me. Look me. at me. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> what a douche I was. Now you do the same thing, only it's in a fucking Guinness keg. <laughs> <laughs> Just swimming yeah. in a Guinness oh, yeah, cake. Exactly. Look at me. <laughs> Holding your glass up. <laughs> Fucking look at me, you <laughs> cocksucker. Are you, Jimmy, are you saying it's not hard to figure us out? <laughs> no. Oh, no, we are easy. <laughs> Fucking twisted little oh, zilches. Oh, we easy. That's hilarious. <laughs> I like the fact that the compliments, like, cause, like, if someone says that was good, oh, look, you swam with your arm up. It was like you'd probably try to swim. <sighs> Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's like when somebody was... thinks something you say is funny, you keep trying to say it. They're like, I you don't was... get it. Exactly. It's over. I, I was just, oh, I God was damn. that guy. We did the fucking same thing, I though. needed, uh, I craved I attention. I forgot all about that. Oh, did I crave the attention. Let's say hi to Matt in, <laughs> in West Virginia. Is that the Dawson crying? <laughs> What's the Dawson crying for, dude? <laughs> hey, Matt, what do you got? Uh, basically, you guys are bringing up an old story I've been trying to repress, but with no luck. Uh, in first grade, we were going to go on a field trip, so the teacher sent all of us to the bathroom in our shitty little school, and we had three urinals for the boys. And lucky me, it was the first one, and the guy behind me decided to uh, try and piss between my legs of that <laughs> urinal. Pissed all over me, and on our field trip, I had to wear the teacher's retard blue sweatpants with my polo shirt tucked in. And what so, happened to the guy that pissed on you? Oh, he just pretty much laughed. He's on a radio show now with Hopi and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. 
Very Watch good. Thank you, Matt. Let's say hi to Victor in Baltimore. Victor. Victor. Hey, good morning. Hey, hey Victor. Caller, I said I'm sorry. What's that? I said tell that call, last caller I said I'm sorry. I, I tried to go over his shoulder, but it went between his legs. Uh, hey, hey, oh, look at God. that. Connecting the last caller. Cool. I like that. Call I like that. that. It's always bit. good. I like that. Hey, Were you the guy that peed on his, his pants? No, I peed. Got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll go further. Hey, listen, um, when I was a kid in school, one of the things I tried to do is uh, I wanted to get out of school, so I went to the nurse, and I took a thermometer, told her I had a fever. She gave me a thermometer, and I rubbed it on my corduroy pants a little too long. Uh, it said like 109. 109 fever, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, stupid six-year-old, what are you going to do? Uh, anyway, what I wanted to say is Aunt's mom probably got charged with child abuse and Munchausen syndrome. you going to the doctor so much. <laughs> All the time, yeah. What's your problem? They didn't have that shit back then. It was just called a dumb kid yeah. that uh, uh, craved I, attention. I was I had my tummy aches, too. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Anytime there was a problem, <laughs> my stomach hurts. Uh, the car won't start. <laughs> uh, we're stuck in the, you know, on, on the side of the road. The car broke down. My my, my father would turn around and go, Stop, it doesn't hurt. Shut up. The car's broken. Bro, shut him the fuck up. <laughs> he was an angry man. Oh, of course he was. He's right. How do you not? Oh, I was married to my mother. She was a bitch on wheels back then. Forget I can't about imagine Roe being a bitch. Oh, my God. She'd wake up on Sunday morning. And we would, uh, uh, it, it was terror. Chore, chore time, right? Dude, dude it, no, no, not just chore time. We had chore time. It was terror. Fuck, leave me alone, I'm tired. Me, Dawn, and Joseph, terrified of Sunday morning. Like, you'd wake up and go, oh, my God, when's it coming? Get the fuck out here! Vacuum dust! This place looks like a bomb hit it! That's what I'm saying, chore time. That, that, and, but, but, but it was like, get your mama, get your fucking, look at it, vacuum the floor! Didn't Don't just push the dirt around. Sweep. Don't. She lost her fucking mind on Sundays. Wait, my my parents didn't understand that. Look, we need a weekend too. Sorry, we're yeah. twelve, but look, we're we're working hard in school and we want to relax on Saturday and Sunday. We'd wake up with, and and all of a sudden the chores would but be handed out. It wasn't so much doing the chores; it was the way she did it. She was fucking rabid, insane, crazy yelling that we had to clean up. Clean up like fucking mommy dearest crazy. You know what? Then the phone would ring, and she'd be like, you know, can't clean up. Jesus Christ, get this fucking bring up. Hey, hey, how the hell are you? <laughs> hey, good, no, great. And then you'd hear happy mom and be like, oh, my God, how did she just change like that? Mm -hmm. But she was, like, crazy. She'd bite her hand. Uh, she'd get mad and go, <laughs> bite her own fucking hand. What are you? <laughs> like, crazed. Like what the fuck? Insane. What I, I used to go. What then? Why the fuck did you have us? I'd be I'd be like I'd be cowering with a rag in one hand and lemon pledge in the other, <laughs> looking over my shoulder like ah, 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 just crying and rubbing wood. <laughs> and you didn't even do anything. No, what can it's I like, do? Just because you're having problems. Don't, yeah, don't take it out on us. Because you're in a world yeah. of shit. Go, <laughs> doesn't go, mean you know. Go back in the bedroom and figure out your problems with daddy, and leave me the fuck alone. Oh. Jesus, age, Christ. Uh, the phone's just terrific. Dude, that, that fucking uh, oh. broken arm thing, which reminded oh, yeah. me of uh, mine uh, and others have very That's similar attention. stories. Let's go to Scott in New Hampshire. Yeah. Scott. Yeah, I, uh, my uh, father was in the Air Force. I was always going to different schools all the time and made fun of because I was fat and stuff. So I used to go into the bathroom at night before uh, my first day, and I'd just start smashing myself in the face until I get a black eye. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, tell him I got the fight or I was tough or whatever. And um, my parents were so oblivious, they wouldn't even notice in the morning that I had this huge shiner. <laughs> so you, you used to try to give yourself black eyes for attention. Well, that and I was afraid to get beat up. So I figured I'd look tough with my black eye, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah trying to look <laughs> tough. <laughs> look, yeah. When you're, when you're 12, it, it was a scary world out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got, oh, yeah. got to protect yourself. <laughs> All right. Thank God you. Guys. All right. Damn. And look at this guy, Dennis and Yonkers. Dennis. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, uh, came from a big family. And when I was a kid, um, we didn't we didn't have the most money. So we had a wood-burning stove. And we were put in charge of, of keeping, it, keeping it lit and keeping the house warm. So everybody was out. 
and I thought it would be a good idea for some attention to pin my arm against the hot cast iron <laughs> as long as I could in order to give myself a nice burn. <laughs> horrible, horrible idea because they didn't come home for like another two hours and I just sat there with a burning arm. Oh, my God. <sighs> you see, idiot. This is, <laughs> see, this is more normal than you realize. <laughs> yeah, attention. <laughs> just want the attention. That's what's great about having a radio show. Then you realize, okay, all that sick shit you did as a kid, you're like, okay. It was, it was the norm. <laughs> like what are you looking that. at? The one you just had highlighted. Which one? I think John. Oh, um, oh yeah, yeah, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, yeah, poor John, fuck. John in New York, what's going hey, on? Hey, John. Oh, dear friends. <laughs> um, uh, when I was living in Manhattan, and then we moved up to the suburbs, so I've never been on a school bus. Mind you, I've never been on a school bus before. First day on a school bus. Uh, let me preface it by saying that we had Sunday Sunday Italian dinner the night before. And uh, as soon as the bus starts moving, 10 minutes later, I proceed to upchuck spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, uh, you know how and bad puked up spaghetti smells, uh, too? The entire ride, the spaghetti and the meatballs were just rolling down. <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, Swallowed them whole. And of course, of course, the kids started laughing, and then they proceeded to label me. Barferoni for the next two years. Barferoni? <laughs> the worst. Uh, how long I did that... Cried and, excuse me? How long did nickname last, Barferoni? Oh, years. Like, think the next three years until I left for junior high. Oh. Oh, it was a pit. I just wanted to kill myself. Yeah, you didn't realize, right. you didn't realize that out. one incident in, uh, in school would, would just haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> you get a, you get a yeah. nickname because of one dumb thing you did yep. one day, yeah. And then now you're a senior and they're still calling you, you know, piss pants or whatever the fuck you did. Oof, yeah, unless you move away or you know, yeah. go to a different school. Like yeah, you got to go into the witness protection program. Yeah, and move which to another is, school. That's pretty much what it was as a kid. The witness protection program was when your family moved. <laughs> if you were like pee pee pants or right, right. pukey kid or yeah, and, sh shit caca pants, and you got a fresh start. <laughs> like I got a, I got a leaf. Uh, let me see. <laughs> witness protection. It was pretty much right. Yeah, we got this guy. Yeah, we we all kind of maybe tried this one once. Mike in Virginia, what's up, Mike? <laughs> Hey, uh, when I was a kid, my mom started dating some dude that I didn't like. I'm probably like six or seven. And so, uh, you know, I didn't get any attention. So one night, you know, it's bedtime. I start writing on my wall. I was putting a runaway note together. And, uh, well, I had to stop because I couldn't spell Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> so you I idiot. I went to bed and cried myself. And the parents were on to us. They knew where the fuck were, were we going to run away to. Yeah, We didn't have the skills to survive. I actually thought you, when you ran away, you needed the stick with the fucking tied up bandana oh, really? thing in the back. Hobo style. Like, yeah, I, think, I thought you needed that to run away. Yeah, sorry, Jim. <laughs> no, I'm just, I have a memory. It's, uh, oh, 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 a little douchey? A little bit, a little yeah. A little douchey? <laughs> When I was like a young teenager. Yeah, I wanted some attention, so I put like these song lyrics that were devilish, and I cut my arm and I signed it in blood and I hung it on my door. <laughs> oh, that's devilish. <laughs> devil dogs were more evil than I was. <laughs> I was a, I was a um, devil ham. You want you more? Were, you know what's weird? By the time I reached oh. like. For the most part, by the time I was in my teens, I'd already like had a, uh, I had like a thing. I was able to like be funny, you know. You're able to kind of make people laugh and shit. And uh, so I kind of backed off on the attention thing because I got attention by being f a funny guy. Although I still did douchey things, like when my chick broke up with me, I tried again to break my arm with a baseball <laughs> bat because I thought if I had a cast on, she would feel bad for me. I boy, did I love trying to break my fucking arm! Ugh. What an asshole! She busted her head, fucking bitch. <laughs> Leaving me? <laughs> Teach you. For a non-white fella. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kevin from Connecticut. When I threatened to run away, my dad whipped a suitcase at me and said, go ahead, big man. <laughs> Leave. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go for Take it. Take off. Uh, a couple more of these before we go to break. Let's say <laughs> hi to Mark in South Carolina. Mark. Good evening. Hey, Mark. Hey. 
Hey, just to let you know, when I was a kid, I broke my toe uh, running around the corner doing stupid shit like kids do. Uh, I loved the attention. It was great. I got to sit anywhere I wanted to. Well, it was starting to heal, so I decided, well, I wanted to keep this, but I couldn't kick the wall. I was too scared, so I was going to drop a sledgehammer uh, on my toe. Well, I'm holding it there over my toe, and I got too scared, and it slipped, and it fell, and it hit and broke my other toe. Oh, oh at least you got a toe. That's a toe break. <laughs> Imagine it dropping a sledgehammer on your toe. Yeah, a little sledgehammer on my toe, and I thought, well, it'll do the trick. And, boy, it hurt. I cried and screamed. And then once it healed, then my parents busted my ass because they knew what I did. <laughs> Amazing. That was the worst. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good story. Let's go to Chris in Jersey. Chris. Yeah, hi. When I was little, I wanted my tooth to come out so bad. I had my dad uh, wiggle it to see if it was loose, and um, it, uh, it wasn't. He told me it needed more time, so I went in my basement, took a hammer, and started smashing my face until my tooth <laughs> came out so that uh, I got a tooth fairy come and my parents would feel bad. Yeah, I would I would cry like crazy with the tooth thing, too. When my teeth were falling out, it's like, uh, uh, and, and my father was one of those that's like, let me wiggle it and see if it wiggles. And he would yep. he would wiggle it, and then wham, he'd pull it right out of my head. I was I fucking 20 at, at the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it took about three more years for my adult tooth to grow in after that. <laughs> he'd say, let me wiggle it, but it wasn't your tooth he was grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> one of... Uh... One of the treats our family got was we got to take a bath by ourselves. Mm. One, by yourself? One of seven kids. We we would pile into the bathtub all the time. But every sexy. once in a while, you would get that one one day where you could have a bath by yourself. Where, and, you know, as, as one of your brothers, you, you could sit there and blow yourself. Uh, well, sure, in, in that might have happened. In the bath all alone. He might not like us talking about that anymore, but it might have happened. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's a... A business owner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, so I went to my mom one day and I'm like, hey, I, I want to, you know, I want to take a bath. I want to do that bath thing. And she goes, you're not dirty enough. I was only like 10 or 11. So I went outside and I proceeded to just like try to make myself real dirty. And I came in like a dirty mess. She said, you're still not dirty enough. And I went back outside crying like a little baby again, trying to get dirty enough so I could take my stupid bath oh. by myself. That's pretty bad. Fucking insane, but, right? But you you just reminded me of something now that, that is really, really oh, bad. No. This is really bad. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the dirty thing, this this got me. Oh, no. And then I think I got beat for trying Ugh. to get, too, you know, too dirty for a bath. <laughs> really? I think. But I don't know. They found I, out? That's why the, a lot of my stories tail off, because then I don't remember, because I have to block shit out. <laughs> block shit. <laughs> What's your story? Uh, I was I was going to day camp and um and I I again wanted attention uh, so <laughs> I um uh there there was part of these woods that were, were on fire a few years ago back so there was still a lot of carbon and stuff on okay, the trees sure, sure. so I rubbed that all over my face and my arms oh. <laughs> and, and and I I said that um I I was uh, uh like abducted. And, Holy shit. and tied to one of these trees, uh, and then I had to climb up the tree backwards, all the way up to where it was cut off at the top, because right. it was like maybe twelve feet high, because it had bur been burnt, and the top was kind of pointy, and and it was all burnt, and I had to climb up backwards with my arms, like no one could do this, but I had to climb up, and and I remember coming out of the woods like like I was all like oh. Oh, all disheveled and and full of the the the, the carbon and charcoal whatever. from yeah and and I was I was walking like I was ready to fall down, like the little kid that comes back to the village in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> that's that's how I was walking, like uh, uh, uh. and then oh my God, were they looking for somebody? <laughs> I hate Sorry. you. Sorry. <laughs> I was so bad. You never can. They they bought your story. Uh, no, I don't think so. But you know, they had a look. Wait, no, it was you, a day camp. Yeah, what but the, were, the, you know. were the police ever called? Uh, no, I think the counselors just looked, yeah. which tells which me that they, like, they, oh, obviously they obviously didn't believe me. They obviously didn't believe me. Right. Um, I'd love to see your little walk in your eyes half closed. Like, oh, uh, it's, not, it's exactly <laughs> what it was. My eyes are half closed. I was walking like, oh, I, I got out of it. Oh, yeah. And, and no, you know, no rope or anything. I said, I, you know, slipped the rope. Where is it? 
I don't know. I, just, I went away. Yeah. So, what happened to the rope? I don't know. No question. I got a stomach <laughs> ache. Oh, was I the worst? What the fuck was wrong with that? What a bad fucking one. nerd. That's a bad one. That that's, that's a bad one. That's like, pretty bad. The feigning abduction. Yeah. Abduction. Fucking <laughs> Anthony Hurst. <laughs> <laughs> Rob a bank too. You fucking creep. Fake old. abduction. Ah, uh, it's terrible. Wait, listen to this story. Sean in Georgia. Sean. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I dislocated my knee playing hockey. Or dislocated my knee and I'm playing hockey, and I got a good bit of attention from the school. So when it got better, it, attention went away. So I decided to try it again. And what I thought I'd do would be run towards the gopher tortoise hole and stick my foot in it. That way, I'd fall forward and it would dislocate my knee again. Oh. Well, I did, and I fell face first and broke my nose and got made fun of because of that. It didn't. Plan didn't quite pan out, did it? Oh, it didn't. Yeah, they they rarely do. <laughs> <laughs> they rarely do. Trying to hurt yourself for attention story, by the way, where he tried to throw himself down seven flights of stairs to kill himself. To kill himself? Yeah. Well, that's different. I wasn't like, you know. I wasn't trying to kill myself. I was just trying to. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hurt myself enough where people would care about me, and 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 give me attention every day and love me. I hate your predator story that you just. That's a great yeah, story. Yeah. Uh, that was really bad. You had to shimmy up a twelve foot tree. <laughs> yeah, backwards with the rope tied behind. How'd uh, your the, feet dig in? I, I just climbed up and and I used the rope and I pulled tight. And then I'd shimmy up a little bit with my feet and then put the rope back up. Like, I described the whole thing. I had to figure it out in my head how I, how I did it. Meanwhile, I just was sitting there rubbing the carbon off the tree and, and rubbing it on my face. Why your like, face? And it looked so bad. Exactly. Why not your back? Exactly. It was not on my back. It was on my face and my arms. And, and, and I was just, and then I came stumbling out of the woods. Jesus. Stumbling. That's great. I was stumbling. Waiting for somebody to go like, oh, my God, what happened? But no one did. No one did. I had cared. to actually go up to somebody and say, uh, I was just tied to a tree. Uh, but no one cared. Like, I thought I'd – here was my scenario in my head. I come stumbling out of the woods with all this charcoal on me. And, like, the counselors go, drop everything. And, like, oh, my God, what happened? And I tell them, and they're like, oh, no. And they feel bad for me. And they, they, uh, there's a manhunt looking for this uh, person that did this. And I'm like, you know, ooh. So glad you're okay. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, my God, Anthony, thank God you're okay. But I staggered like that, and no one cared. <laughs> you're acting it's like soft. They're just, they're just playing kickball. <laughs> they should have played kick Anthony. <laughs> we could have we could have lost you. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, oh, my God. Oh, what a dick. Oh, just what a dork. Oh, a well, baby. we all did dorky things. A baby. That is, that's up there, though. Oh, did I want attention? We should take a break. We've oh. gone two hours without breaking. Yeah, I got to these uh, fucking hours. Why are we going to take a break? No. We got a lot more calls coming in. We might, we, we might continue with this. There are a lot of fucking we, calls. We got Jocktober. No, I blamed Negroes for a fire. <laughs> I didn't blame uh, Negroes for the abduction. Somebody is suggesting I did that. But, um, no, me and my brother set Beauty's Hill on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, then when the fire department showed up, well, um, I said that uh, Negro uh, came and started the fire. We have similar, I was in kindergarten. We do have similar stories, which is very strange, because I, I, I blamed it on the oily rags that I found in the woods. <laughs> oh, is that what you called them? <laughs> <laughs> oily rags caused the fire that pretty much took out my neighbor's house. You found Oopsie. out about spontaneous combustion the day before. <laughs> right. And, like, decided, hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Use that. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break, regroup. <laughs> we'll do more of your stories. Oh, wait, Brother Joe wants in before the break? Ah. God, you know what? We should just Probably go. Probably got a good one. We should go commercial-free today. Why not? Can we get to 10 o'clock without taking a break? I think so. Yeah. You think? Yeah, you guys can that do that. That would be exhausting. <laughs> yeah, but you guys can do it. Not not everybody can, but you no. guys can. Brother Joe. What's up, hey, Joe? What's going on? What? Hey, Ant, were you talking about uh, Paul Bunyan Day Camp when we were kids? Yes. Dude. I don't know if you I, – I came into the conversation late, so I don't know if, uh, if you actually remembered accurately, but those sadistic motherfuckers used to tie us to trees and give us, like, pink belly. And oh, the pink belly. Yeah, I remember that. Like, like oh, the, the, well, the counselors I, would actually tie kids to the trees and then lift up their shirt and, and smack their stomach until their 
You know, bellies turn pink. Out of them, man. I remember yeah. a couple of couple of kids like coming away crying and stuff, getting like getting pounded on by these uh, CITs. They call them counselors in training. Yeah, it was like just, prison. Yeah, just a bunch of little <laughs> punks. You know, I mean, there was a pecking order and. Uh, we were at the bottom of it. We were just yeah. like the lowly, the lowly inmates, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was like a little day camp prison. <laughs> yeah, I you know, that's what you were talking about. And you, 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 maybe you thought in your head that you were making it up. No, no, were, I made up the the one thing because I remember staggering out of the woods like, oh, help me. It's kind of odd that I never that I that I don't remember that one. Huh, that. Very good. Yeah, that was a good one. Those... We're on our way. We're on our way back from Georgia. You we're played driving. in Georgia. Yeah, we played down in uh, Georgia and North Carolina the past couple of days. Yeah, coming back home? Coming back home for a day and then heading up to Mohegan Sun on Thursday. We're at the uh, at the Wolf Den uh, at the Mohegan. Wolf oh, Den. we did the Wolf Den. Wolf yeah, Den. Colorful Den. name. That Wolf Den is a cool place. That's where we broadcasted Rambo. live before they kicked yeah. us off the radio great, because great we weren't uh, yeah. we weren't friendly enough for a casino environment. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Might have been us talking about shitting and assholes in their restaurant. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. We got thrown out of their fucking restaurant. Oh, so it had nothing to do with the broadcast? We're shooting darts, talking about shitting. Right. And uh, a couple of the patrons were upset. <laughs> they weren't I happy remember with that. You. Yes, that was a good one. Yeah. Hammered. We were hammered. I hearing about that. And, yeah. yeah, and your ex got uh, real nasty with a couple of them. Uh, really? I do remember that. She oh, was, yeah, 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 yeah. She was screaming. She was yeah. screaming at yeah, f- fuck, fuck them. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, was, that was uh, good. Yeah, we're doing the uh, we're doing the two U three D show. We're doing the video screens up there. They have a gigantic video screen up behind the band. It looks like Red Rocks. It's pretty cool. So go see Joe at Mohegan. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds like so, a lot yeah, of fun. Thursday man. night, we're starting around eight o'clock. Free admission, and uh, and I will be playing poker afterwards, promptly at uh, ten. Nice, cool man. Good Joe. All right, kids. Good take you. it. Take a tiz. Uh, you know, the day camp thing? Yeah. The people that ran day camp were sick fucks. Yeah, they were. Sadistic. That probably should be, you know, their background should be looked into a little further. Well, now I, I think they're a little better, maybe. I, but I, I, remember, then, I remember going to day camp. Another story that just hit my brain. Uh, in the summer, go to this day camp at Washington Drive School there in Centerport, right? And the guy that was running the day camp was a lazy fuck that was hungover. Now I understand the whole thing. Yeah. You got to get older to understand. The guy was a partier, you know. He was hungover, and he was trying to make make time with the gals. Oh, really? The other girls that helped out in the day camp. So he didn't really want to watch us too well. So what he he came up with this. He told us all if we went into the woods, there's a guy, his name is Future Man. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Future Man fucks you in the ass. Oh, yes. Future Man. Not <laughs> Future Man. Ooh. Future Man thinking. was a vicious, vicious guy. Yeah. And he he liked to abduct kids. Well, maybe that's who got me. Future oh, Man? That's right. I made it up. <laughs> but his whole thing was... Oh, Uncle Future Man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was like Walter, a young Walter, uh, Walter Matthau from like Bad News Bears. He just wanted to sit in a, in a chair, get some sun, yeah. sneak a little booze, and flirt with the girls... And where he sat, he could see the field where we were playing kickball and baseball and all that That's shit. That's all he needs. But as kids, you want to be in the woods, right? Yeah. So he comes up with this idea. Well, if I tell the kids there's a, somebody called Future Man... You know, that's what he's known as locally, and and the authorities can't catch this guy. You're creative with the name, by the way. Yeah. Future yeah, man. Yeah, what a, what a fucking what douche. He could have come up with something better. Yeah. And he basically said, if you go in the woods, too. you have a chance to be abducted by this guy they call Future Man. He, he told us this dead serious, and this story... This story haunted us for years. I was scared to go in the woods because of this. And all it come, came down to was the guy didn't want to watch us. Yeah. <laughs> he was fucking and, and he doesn't tell us at the end of the summer that, all right, I made that up because I really didn't want you guys in the woods. I wanted to make sure I could see you. How long no. do you think there was a future, man? I'm embarrassed to say, but it... You it, still think there is, right? Well, yes. <laughs> in the back of my head. A, could be future, man. Way past I should have stopped worrying about it, to be honest <laughs> with you. Way past. That was something that was just ingrained in my brain. Yeah. And made us all scared of the woods for years to come. <laughs> and this guy had moved on to other dumb jobs and shit, not yeah. knowing what he did to us. Yeah, they don't know the impact they have. And just because he didn't <laughs> feel like, you know, watching us as we ran in and out of the woods. That's great. Fucking asshole. Yeah, they were. And then at night, I would I would have nightmares about Future Man. And, Future Man. And our house, like, backed up to the woods that backed up to Washington Drive School. So there was kind of a connection. There were there, there was 
at, back then there was our house and then the school. So a lot of woods in between. And I'd be in my bed at night fucking petrified of this future man. Future man was going to come. What, what did future man do that was so bad? Like, what if you just meet him and he's like, hey, I'm future man. Like, I remember. Did I tell you, he said, did I tell you about me? He said that, it, you know, kids were abducted by future oh, man. Oh, he took kids. That's right. Oh, he just took oh. kids. Yeah. I think, mm. and, and I think if I remember correctly, he turned them to like stone or something. Oh, well, well, part of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I, I I was so afraid of being abducted as a kid, and that, which is odd that I came out with the abduction story. Right. Uh, but I was so afraid that um, I would cower in the car if people came up like next to the car to get into their car. Mm-hmm. I would just start going, ah, like freaking out. Thinking the they were gonna ab- to abduct you? me. Something weird happened to you. And then man. that time, uh, my mother stopped in the parking lot. And then, you know, back in the old days, you just left your kids in the car when you went in the store for a few minutes. With the, with the engine still running. Yeah, it didn't matter. Everything was just up. gone. So uh, this man walked over to the window and and he goes, "Hey, how you doing?" And I, I just fucking lost my mind and started screaming and crying. And the guy's like, "What? What's the matter?" He goes, "And and." and he goes, I'm your, a friend of your mother's. I, I, you know, I work with your mom. And, and then my mother came out and was like, oh, you know, Jim, how you doing? But, but, but you don't know that shit as I a kid. I didn't know. But, but I, I, well, my brother was fine and my sister was fine. They're like, oh, really? oh hi. Oh, really? And I was the one like, Bleh! Yeah, but the, the parents set you down that path. They make you scared of every stranger that you're going to come across. So. Yeah, but what were uh, you supposed no, to I do? had more mental issues, I think. I just was fucking an attention-craving, <laughs> crazy crybaby. Uh, the ache boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, made, Eric made me who I am. I'm a Scott made me. Let's get let's get Eric on the air, and then we'll take a break. Eric. Hey, how's it going? Hey, man. Hey, man. So, uh, my desperate attempt for attention was uh, I was about ten or eleven years old, playing little league. Not uh, not the greatest player. Usually stuck in right field every game. But uh, so around that time, the movie Rookie of the Year came out. So. My desperate attempt was to try to break my arm in hopes that when I came back, I'd be a star pitcher and talk of the town. <laughs> it would make your arm... <laughs> yeah. oh, Jesus Christ. That's a bad one. You stink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we take a break? I got to pick it yeah, Sure. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, the deal hasn't started yet. It starts next year. So next year, yeah. next year. Get him while you can, people. Get him while you can. Next year, there'll there'll be one company making baseball cards. Upper and... Deck says they're still going to make cards, even though they can't use the team names because yeah. they still have the. Wait, they can't use the team names or logos. No, they they can't, can't use the team names or logos. They can use since since there's a players union, they have a deal with the players union. They can't use the fucking name no, of the team. No, that's what I'm getting at. This is what I read over the weekend. I, I thought it started already, but it starts next year. Could you imagine? Wow. Some weird shit is going on in America where God. it's supposedly a free damn uh, a free market society. Wow. Boy, that's some. They must have paid a hefty licensing fee. So then. how are they going to make the baseball cards? Because I bet you Major League Baseball will get to the point where they go, look, that looks like a Yankee uniform, so we don't even want that on your baseball card. You know? I like that in the uh, commercials when they're doing a commercial that didn't want to pay the rights, so it's just like... <laughs> a Yankee in some pinstripes, and there's no logo or anything. Right. Just has like the blue hat. Says baseball on it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it team. <won. laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> it's like in the old days when they wouldn't use real sports names, like the North Dallas Forty, when they wouldn't use Dallas Cowboys or the yeah, Dallas yeah. Stars, whoever they called them. You know, the <laughs> Dallas Corn Herners. What? <laughs> so if they can't use the team names, how are they going to get baseball cards done? Uh, this, by blurring it out, I guess. What the? Oh, Sam's got us a, got a picture of just a guy out of his uniform. <laughs> yeah. You're going to collect that baseball fu- players out of their like uniforms? Exactly. Fucking just photos of people. Yeah. Now you're buying photos of people. <laughs> That's it. How much money does a company need? After a while, it gets. Uh, you got to go re- relax. Yeah. Oh, after a while, you really just got to say relax. They do the profile, so you can't see the logo on the head. Yeah, but I'm telling you, Major League Baseball will see this and go, nope, yeah, that looks like a Major League Baseball oh, they're uniform. Gonna take, they're going to take shots of them that are are that completely obscure the their logos logo. and stuff. That's great. How yeah, do you do them by team? If you can't do them by team. It's unbelievable. What the fuck? That, that shit just drives me What about nuts. the stats on the back? Can you put, like, he's with the Yankees or with the fucking well, Red Sox or something? You, yeah, probably, you could probably do that. You'd probably do it like this in New York. It was like gambling as a kid. Yeah, because you'd be shaking, putting that next card out, going, oh. Because oh, we uh. also, because some some of the, the kids 
would bring their shitty cards. So you would look at their cards to make sure they had, you know, some solid Good, yeah. solid cards in there or you wouldn't flip with the person. Yeah, it's like, let me see what you got. So you the had... guy would get a reputation for flipping with shit. Right. So, Remember that? Yeah, but we, it was like real life gambling, man. You yeah. got a Willie Mays card somewhere in there. And you're like, fuck, I might lose my fucking Willie Mays card Dude, today. Flip, flipping for colors was like. You know, the $5 table. Right. Playing at the $5 table. Yeah, because, all table. right, there's three, four cards. Yeah. You, all right, I scooped Flipping that up. Flipping for teams, though, was, was like you're in the high stakes fucking thing. And and, and the it would Jesus. stack up. Yeah. Stack up, and you'd be like, okay, I got all my fucking cards. Well, how do you flip for teams? I'm 12 years old, panicking. You'd have to match the team. Like, you you know, you go, bump, bump, one, yeah, one two, three, after three, another, one and after then the other. A twin and card then, comes up, and all of a sudden you flip yours, and it's a twin card, and you get, yeah, a, you get the stack. You get the stack that has built up. But, wait, but how for do you colors, it was just like red, green, blue, oh. green, green. Oh, now you take. Oh, whoever throws a color down, the next guy get. I see. Okay. Whoever tops whatever the last guy just put down. It was... Uh, it is was it? unbelievable. My Alan Bannister card today is worth 25 How much is the 1979? I don't have it mint, but how much is it worth in mint? The 1979 Jam Tops collection. mint tin condition. He played with the white. <laughs> I'm going to guess 550 or 600. I don't like greed, man. It gets ridiculous after Greed is good. <laughs> yeah. Greed is good. I understand a company has to make money, but then it gets to a point where it's all just greed. Well, for all Tries these years, they've nuts. allowed it with the other companies. I wonder if they were just like, it, these guys are not. My, my argument to that whole thing, Jimmy, is that it's marketing the sport itself. Like when we, every year when the Super Bowl comes around and they in, they insist that radio shows and, and TV shows, no one's allowed to say Super Bowl. Yeah. That drives me. That drives me nuts because the big game is fun to say. But you're promoting. <laughs> <laughs> you're promoting the game, the game and, I know. and a lot of people would say, "Well, it doesn't need promotion." But guess what? All the years where radio and TV and and whatnot was was saying Super Bowl was promoting this thing to yeah. to what it has become today. Yep. And to to make everyone say the big game instead of su the Super Bowl drives me nuts. Well, I'll tell you why it does help to promote it because it gets like a, a fever pitch built around it. Because if no radio shows and no one's talking about the Super Bowl, <laughs> who gives a fuck? You're not even thinking about it. But yeah. if everyone's leading up to it, they should be able to say Super Bowl. And 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 uh, uh, whoever he is says it's being sold for two hundred and thirty five dollars. Is that in mint condition? The Alan Bannister Jim card. Mint tin condition. It was more oh, than that. that. Of well, who? Of who? The whole 1979 no, tops. No, I was working off Anthony's fucking voice right there. Oh, we didn't know. Jim Minton for the entire <laughs> set. Look, I'm going to open it up. It's amazing who we got in here. What do we it's got? It's from, from the <laughs> My God, look, I see Joe, young Joe Torrey wearing a cap. And by the way, how many people have an attic full of worthless beanie babies? <laughs> I'm responsible for that one. Beanie Babies, these are going to be valuable. Did you How ever, many people went into that? Did you ever play Darky? What? <laughs> when we oh, used no. to flip cars, we would play belt. Darky. You would you? Yeah. You flipped like that? Yeah. Well, you would just use your 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 uh, your black baseball players. Jesus, <laughs> oh the Christ. piles wouldn't pile up because out of your mind, it, it was one on one always. So it was called darky, That's and, and you mixed up your racist school. Were you going <laughs> and then, to? And then you flip, and then you decide which which card had the darker player. Oh no, <laughs> I've only fucking Harbor Fields. Look, it was you stuck up white trash. Look, you were like <laughs> me. You 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 go play cards with your friends, right? And after a while, just playing the basic games were boring. So you came up with all these crazy fucking new uh, uh, no, card I just, games. I just flipped. We did the, the same thing with flipping cards. Flipping color, flipping teams, and then flipping players was also pretty difficult. What's flipping players? Uh, you had to one. match the player. What? I don't remember. The, the odds one. of that happening were astronomical. I don't You'd go that. through hundreds of cards. No, that's just ridiculous. And then it was like, if, if nothing happened, you'd have to split them back up again. Mm -hmm. Like, because I, I remember this flip, flip for five, and then you'd start with five cards. And you just flip for five. And if no one won, you'd split them up and then flip again. Mm -hmm. You'd probably do American oh, League, New York. Won. As a yeah. consumer, you should have some good choices. And if you want baseball cards, you should be able to choose from some solid you know, companies that are making the cards. Well, the same thing goes for video games, that baseball and football have exclusive deals with video game companies. So oh, the, yeah, only, yeah. the only NFL-licensed <clears throat> video game Madden. is Madden. Right. So all the other video game companies... 
can't put out an NFL licensed game. <laughs> yeah, but they could put them out, well, but they would put them out with teams. Well, yeah, they'll no put out like Blitz, and, you know, with like you know just these random players. Uh, that yes, don't mean anything. Stupid names and <laughs> you know I, teams. I'm obsessed with Tiger Woods, you know, ten, and uh, they have a lot of the golf courses in it. Yeah, that the you know the players actually play on, but they don't have Augusta where they Augusta. play where they play the Masters every yeah. year. Because they couldn't get, I guess, couldn't get the rights. I guess Augusta didn't sign off on it, and they, and supposedly they'll never sign off on it, so you'll never see Augusta in a uh, in a Tiger Woods game. Whew. So bizarre. How, how do you how how do you control that? Oh my goodness gracious! Right. <laughs> do you know I've only one. only once in my life did I collect the whole series of baseball cards. No, like I bought a couple yeah. of years after, but I never I went through it when 1979 tops. It's actually worth a few hundred bucks. But there was, was one card I couldn't get, Alan Bannister from the White Sox, and I finally traded my friend Neil oh. Grant. <laughs> Neil my Grant friend, had it? My friend Neil Grant had it. He brought it in in tinfoil. I could not get fucking Alan Bannister. I bought hundreds of packs. That was fun when you were a kid. I used Roger to- Clemens is in hundreds of the packs. <laughs> <laughs> and now Roger Clemens is officially a <laughs> I, I used to I used to cry to my mommy because I would lose all my cards uh, flipping them. Yeah, Sweetie. flip them. You ever flip? How no. would you flip? Would you flip? For colors. Uh, colors? Yeah. The flipping for teams was really fucked up because the stack got huge. You flip for colors, well, I maybe think... five, eight cards would go by, and then the guy would top you with the color, well, and, and then he'd take the cards. Flip for teams? Now you're talking. Well, this is this is going back about ten years now, so my memory's a little uh, fuzzy. Oh, ten years, yeah. huh? Yeah, Whoa, a little oh, fuzzy. Wow. <laughs> and then there no, was... I think we did teams. I think we did colors. Just to make it interesting, we came up with all sorts of ways to flip. And I remember... The pile, like you just said, got ridiculous, and I lost well, like shaking. everything. Well, you sh- you know what else I learned yesterday? And I might be behind on this one. What? Baseball cards. I I, I uh, collected them growing up. Jim, Me too, did. Gregory. You did right. Got I him, loved got them. Him, need them. Got them. Need them. Well, my favorite player of all time was here yesterday. I was did, fucking very upset. Did you hear what Reggie, yes. Major League Baseball did to the baseball companies? Uh, baseball card companies. These, what? These like these, tops. Like this. 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 This company needs more money. You know, they only licensed one company to make uh, Major League Baseball cards. Lear? Well, I don't know which company, to be honest. Tops or Don Russ? Or, or Upper Deck. I'm not sure which one got the... Upper Decker. <laughs> I'm not sure which one got the, the contract. Here is the weird thing. The rest of the companies still made baseball cards, but Major League Baseball made them blur out the logos on every fucking card. No way. Remember when we were growing up, you could buy wow. different yeah. different companies, and it was, you know... It was only Tops. Huh? When I was growing up... If you didn't have top baseball cards, they, they went from like baseball they cards. went from tops, and then it just got out of control. And then, then it got out of hand. Then there were like always five, tops. six companies at least. Well, now there's only one company officially allowed to make the baseball cards using the Major League Baseball logos. Tops. I did not know that. Wow, that is something. Do we have a picture of a baseball card where they have to blur out everything? I mean, they have to blur out all the logos. The logos on the baseball player, the logos in the stadium, everything. <laughs> it's almost a waste of time. So these these companies are basically going bankrupt because they, you know, who wants to buy who wants to buy baseball cards that don't have the logo of the I, baseball player? I wonder if they did that because baseball cards became such an immediate big business like they would have the special series, and every year they would sell yeah. like fifty dollars base. It became like this fucking. They were just gutting people for money. Wow. Yeah. Is that Damn. unbelievable? I didn't know that. I, I I read that over the weekend. It's like you got to be kidding me. I, mean, I, I haven't bought baseball cards. Get obviously. your Mark McGuire while, rookie but... card when he played <laughs> with the <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what teams they're on. Don't know what teams are on. Here's the upper decker, Derek Jeter with the Newton <laughs> Yeah, Because if you say the team, you're going to get, you're gonna get, get in get, trouble. Gonna get I'm going to get sued and screwed here, people. Sued and screwed. Sued and screwed.